worship. So glad you join us for worship tonight here on Facebook. A couple of quick announcements for you. If you would like a bulletin for this service, you can find it at trinityvoiceful.com. Uh, Just look on the front page uh, right there. And also on that page, as you scroll down, you can see TLC Synologue. You can see videos of worship services for the past week, as well as our newsletter. You can also see a donation form so that you can support Trinity and its ministries. Again, a couple of quick announcements. The men's band is having an outdoor worship service this Sunday at 9 o'clock. And we'll be meeting right outside the church here. You can bring a uh, blanket or a lawn chair and sit on the lawn if you would like. We do ask that if you do that, that you maintain social distance. And we really encourage masks if you're going to be out in your vehicle. Otherwise, you can stay in your vehicle and you'll be able to hear just fine through the speakers or through your FM radio in your car. So join us on Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, that is normally a rally Sunday for Sunday school. We do give thanks uh, for our youth. Sunday school is going to begin online. And so you can go right here uh, to this Facebook page uh, for a lesson on Sunday morning uh, with an easy activity you can do at home with your kids as we continue to teach our children uh, the faith just in a new and different way. Also, we are still collecting school supplies, and you can bring those to the church or make a donation. Just put school supplies in the memo um, uh, line of your check or uh, however you give, and we'll make sure that money goes to help purchase school supplies. That is our announcements for tonight. We begin our service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing together for the fruit of all creation. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. 
Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For if two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. This is the gospel of our Lord. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. You know, there have been some Wednesday nights since we started this service a long ago, where when we had people here, well, it was only like two or three at the most, and people would ask, you know, why, why are we doing this Wednesday service when hardly anyone is coming, especially sometimes in the dead of summer? And I would always quote this verse from Matthew. For two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there amongst them. Well, now we're in a very new and different kind of gathering. We are here in the sanctuary. We have been in our cars in the parking lot. We've been virtually here right on Facebook. And yet, I think we are learning what Jesus is getting at in this reading, in that phrase where two or three are gathered. We're learning that the church is a gathering of people that doesn't have to be physically together, but are gathered around a common purpose, worship in this sense, and that Jesus is amongst us. You'd be amazed that where, as I go out into the world a little bit, I run into people at, at the grocery store or in the, uh, in the uh, at Senex or or even here at church where they talk about how they shared our videos or how friends are watching us online. I love that some of our nursing home residents, uh, they got, were able to get people to figure out how to put it on the TV uh, there in the nursing home so everybody in the household of the nursing home can watch services together. Even some of our pastoral colleagues have commented on our videos and other things. We are gathering together and doing ministry together. It looks very, very, very different. But we are still together. We are still united in Christ. And it's important to remember that. Because so often we feel separated, and we can feel separated from each other, especially in this time of social distancing, especially in this time when we're trying to keep our distance for the safety of all. We can, we can start to sometimes highlight our differences. But frankly, I think there's more that unites us that divides us. And that unity comes in that shared faith of Jesus Christ. That we are worshiping together even though we are worshiping differently. We are still church together. And God and Jesus Christ is amongst us. Is with us. Is with you. Is with you. See, that's the great thing about the Holy Spirit. That's the great thing about the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not confined to four walls and a building. It's not confined to anything human that we would make it. Rather, it is wherever the people of God are, in whatever way they are. And whether it's just two or three of us here on a Wednesday night, or whether it's 150 of us, Christ is amongst us, reminding us that we're loved, reminding us that we're forgiven, reminding us that we're not alone, and reminding us that we have the promise of eternal life. Remember that Christ is with you, and that we are united together as the church, not because we're physically next to each other, but because of the shared faith we have in this Savior who loves all of us so much. For that, we can say, thanks be to God. Amen. We are a church together, and so let us together confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Good and loving God. 
You are amongst us. Whether we are gathered in person, whether we gather online, however we are gathered, you are amongst us. Fill us with your love, your grace, your mercy. Give us strength to meet the days ahead. Remind us the salvation we have in your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, be with all those who hurt this day in body, mind, and spirit. Be with those hospitalized, those battling the coronavirus, those struggling with cancer and addiction and depression. In the midst of suffering, Lord, give them hope and healing and new life. Remind them that you are with them. And be with their family and friends who support them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask that you would be with all those who grieve the loss of loved ones. Comfort them in their grief and remind them of the promise to eternal life that we have through Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, be with those who are poor and needy, those who are suffering from injustice of any kind. Lord, bless organizations that help those in need. Bless our partners in ministry, like the ELCA, the Northwest Synod of Wisconsin, Lutheran Campus Ministry at Stout Lutheran Park Bible Camp, Lutheran Social Services, American Lutheran Home, West Cap and Stepping Stones, the Churches of Boyceville, and all those who help those in need and proclaim a gospel of hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, as the rain fell today, we give thanks for this creation that you have blessed us with. Help us to care for it. Bless our farmers and all those who tell the land. And be with all of us that we may appreciate all the gifts you give us. Not only this creation, but the gifts we have in our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear your our prayer. prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, and also with, with you. you. Share a sign of peace in the comments and remember wherever way you are. If you'd like to support Trinity's ministry, you can uh, send an offering in the, uh, in the mail to PO Box 247, Boris, Wisconsin, 54725. Use the Give Plus app, search for Trinity Lutheran Church Voiceville, and follow the instructions or go to trinityvoiceville.com and use the online form there on the front page. We again are so thankful for the ways in which you support Trinity with your offerings and your prayers. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you in favor and give you peace in the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We conclude with beautiful Savior.
Thank you so much for joining us for worship tonight. Hope to see you Sunday morning at 9 a.m., whether here online or in our parking lot or next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. God bless. Have a great week.